Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the unboxing, and in the second half of this video we'll also do a full review of the Silvercrest USB travel charger with built-in power bank. For those of you who don't know, Silvercrest is the supermarket chain Lidl, or Lidl's, own brand. So we've covered Silvercrest products in the past. They provide amazing value for money. Let's see what the Silvercrest USB travel charger with built-in power bank is like, and then we'll provide a review after my upcoming road trip with my better half, Candice. So then, um, packaging is pretty self-explanatory. This is a travel charger, which means that it not only has the default US charger, it also has a European charger and a UK charger uh, plug in place. There's a power bank built in that will give you an indicator and you can also use this to charge your devices. Now, the packaging is quite clear. Um, it says that there's three year guarantee, which is great. So I would suggest you keep your receipt and keep uh, any leaflets about warranty that are in the packaging. Let's move to opening up the packaging and seeing what's inside. I'm going to use my Jerry Rig Everything knife to cut through there. And inside the cardboard box, we have a plastic holder, which has quite the chunky book. So this is quite a chunky booklet for instructions and details in multiple languages. And the power bank charger itself, and the two plug adapters. So we'll look at how they work later. So that's a UK plug adapter with three prongs, and the standard European two pronged one. Right then, so here we are. This is the power bank charger. So to plug it into the wall, if you're in the US, you just flick out the two prong charger bit and plug it into the wall and you can then plug in for charging the power bank a 5 volt 2.1 amp power source so you can charge it via the plug directly or via micro usb so you can treat this as a normal power bank if you don't want to use it as a plug but the adapters are probably quite useful for travel now there's two different outputs on the USB-A ports. You can barely see that here. So the first one is 1.5, is 5 volts at 2.1 amps. And the second one is 5 volts at 2.1 amps. So they're both the same, approximately 10 watt chargers from there. So realistically, you can normal charge an iPhone or the, a standard Android phone or tablet from these two chargers but it won't quick charge your devices. On the front, we have the power button. So this indicates what the charge is out of four LEDs at the moment. As it comes out of the box, it has three. And looking at the details on the side of the power bank, we see that it is a 5,200 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the output, as we said, is as defined but it can also take an input of 5 volts, 2.1 amp from that micro USB port. Now let's have a look at how, how you would attach your travel plug. So I live in the UK, our next road trip uh, due to the current global situation is in the UK. So what I'm going to do is leave the plug bit unopened and then just slot in from the top the UK plug. And that way I have a UK travel power adapter, which is also a power bank. And if you want to undo that, you just slide up the UK plug. Say you're traveling to Europe, you can clip in the European adapter. And there you have a European one. So very easy to do. Uh, I will be using this in the UK. I doubt there will be anything other than UK plugs where I'm going, but what I'll do is stop recording the unboxing now. I think we've, we've milked this one to the limit of what YouTube's algorithm will suggest in terms of viewing. 
and we'll leave you with a quick ad break and be back in the second half of the video with a full review after a few days use on the road. Okay then, so I'm back and after having spent some time with this Silvercrest power bank and plug charger, I have to say, on my recent road trip to England, it did the job, did its job very, very well. So it charges, for example, my iPhone 12 uh, just over one time. So in use, whilst using the phone uh, and charging from the USB-A port, it charges uh, the iPhone 12 once. Whereas it charges the Google Pixel a couple of times and it works flawlessly, essentially. You charge the power bank either via the main socket or via micro USB. And when not plugged in, just to make it easier to carry, you can remove the UK plug or the EU plug, if that's what you're doing, and plug in your uh, smartphone or gadget to charge. Now, obviously you get the charge indicator here. It's not going to charge any devices as a fast charger. So if you look at my Google Pixel here, it does not say anywhere that it's fast charging. We know that it's outputting at just uh, 2.1 watts, but it does the job. Um, and especially when you're on the go, it's good to have a little bit of extra juice whilst traveling. So I have to say, no issues whatsoever here. It's a great value for money product. The fact that it has the plug integrated makes it ideal for traveling because for example, if you're staying in, in a hotel and you have limited plug space, you can charge not one, but two devices from here and uh, charge the power bank at the same time whilst you're, you're, you're asleep. So great travel accessory in my view. I think that value for money for the price uh, Lidl or Lidl are selling it at, uh, you're getting a decent device. I would have preferred to see a bit more capacity than that 5,000 milliamp power capacity that the device has, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, it's technically declared as 5,200 uh, milliamp hours. Uh, it's a good device, uh, recommended by Tech Travel Geeks after a few weeks use. So thanks for watching this video. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics that we believe make the travel experience better, as well as publishing some other tech videos, a podcast, and uh, travel content itself, so our vlogs from travels. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye from me.